Welcome to another episode of Will It Latte. Today I am pretty optimistic as we have root beer soda. I chose a, you know, pretty middle of the road root beer. Let's find out if it'll latte. Early predictions for this one, like I said, I'm optimistic. I'm predicting a A- minus for root beer. So let's get to it. I'm gonna take some of our root beer, add it to a stainless steel pot, and I'm gonna get that on medium low heat to start reducing down into a syrup. This is another super simple one. So once our root beer syrup has reduced, we can go ahead and get ready for preparing. This time I'm going to be doing an iced latte. Root beer syrup goes in first, followed by the milk, and then espresso on top. Give it a little bit of a stir and it is ready to go. Will it latte root beer iced root beer latte? Let's get right to it. Smell check. Very pleasant. Root beer, coffee, both excellent fragrances. You all couldn't smell it, but the root beer syrup smelled amazing while I was reducing. So, you know, totally passes the smell check there. First sip. Mmm. Mm. Second sip. Mm -hmm. Initial expectations were, I believe I said an A minus. I believe A minus was the original prediction. Iced root beer latte lands at, just kidding, we're not done here. You know it, I know it. Obviously, if we're gonna go the whole iced root beer espresso latte route, there's one thing that needs to be added. Dun, 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 dun. I have here some homemade ice cream from my ice cream shop. I guess then it's not homemade, it's commercially made. That said, it's from the ice cream shop that I own right next to the coffee shop. And if you're watching, maybe you'll be familiar with it. There we go. Now, we're talking about an iced root beer latte float. That's a game changer. Let's taste for real this time. I'm about to make a mess and that's okay. Mm. Uh-huh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, oh yeah. It's a messy one. Did I cheat a little bit? Yes. Is it extra credit? Absolutely. Sometimes that that's what you have to do. So, with the ice cream, all right, all right, I know some people are gonna ask. Without the ice cream, we are probably solid B territory. We were underperforming a little bit. But, with the ice cream, extra credit, I mean, how can you say no? It's absolutely delicious. A plus with the ice cream, iced root beer, latte, float, whatever you wanna call it, that's a winner. Root beer did in fact latte. Until next time. Fooled you. Full of surprises today. Bonus review. I'm not even going to give it a prediction, but when I was picking up the root beer, I couldn't help but pick up my other favorite soda, which is orange soda. I've already done a short video on cold brew and orange juice, and I just got me thinking, what about orange soda and espresso? So no prediction. We're just going to dive right to it. Ice down, orange soda, espresso, boom. Bonus review time. Fooled you all, didn't I? I was gone, now I'm back. No real prediction, but I'm optimistic. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. It shares a lot of the same like pairing traits as the cold brew coffee and the orange juice, so that's a good sign. That said, it falls a little bit short of its uh, older cousin, if you will. Um, a little less developed, that could be, you know, espresso and soda not pairing as nicely. It could be a lot of things, but orange soda and espresso, is it drinkable? Yes, is it absolutely de delicious? Not quite, we're just gonna go a solid C. Solid C, bonus review, 
orange soda, espresso, that's a C, that's it. No more secret clips, we're not Marvel. It did latte, just kidding, there's no milk, that's not a latte, we're out of here. Subscribe, like, and comment what you would like to see next on Cafe with Q.